Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering the licensing and pricing for Microsoft Cloud App Security. Before I get started here, if you do want to see targeted content for Microsoft 365 and the MSP space, be sure to subscribe below. Getting into it here, I did cover this briefly in my overview and demo video of Cloud App Security. But I want to go a little bit more in depth in this video and isolate it just for people who want to see this information as the model for licensing is pretty complex. One of the main reasons for that is because either all or parts of the MCAS solution are offered in various plans across the Microsoft ecospace. So what I've done here is kind of bucketize them into offerings where you get everything as in the full feature set versus MCAS standalone where you would have to bolt on other packages to get what I consider to be the most robust feature set. So when you talk about MCAS as a solution, I, I really bucketize it into three high level categories. The first one is discovery of applications. So being able to upload your network logs or connect to Defender ATP, discover the software that's on these devices or on the network and have Microsoft give you the security assessment and the compliance assessment of those applications and also taking action on those applications such as sanctioning them or unsanctioning them. From there we get into the AIP section which is allowing you to extend the discovery of your documents and everything else as far as data loss prevention goes into not only the Office offering but into other of other cloud services as well too, like Dropbox and G Suite. So this allows you to detect information with sensitive content in it and also auto apply sensitivity labels from Azure Information Protection. The third bucket is conditional access in which you can basically assess health of the user, the session and the device to be able to apply additional controls like additional security as such as enforcing MFA or preventing them from uh, downloading a file on an unmanaged device or preventing them from accessing an app altogether if they're not on your network or not on your a managed device or their sessions become risky because they're signing in from a country they never have in the history of their time in the audit log trail. So these are three big buckets. And when I think about the offerings that include all of them, you see them at the top there, the more enterprise level offerings where you get everything included and you don't have to worry about what should I have to bolt on to this offering to get the full feature set that I want. The other two below that here in the middle section are looking at MCAS but no conditional access. And in some cases, in this case, standalone MCAS does not include the offering of uh, extending AIP labels as well for being able to apply the sensitivity labels to documents or automatically classifying them based off of the detection of sensitive content like social security numbers. So those are all big pieces. And then limited MCAS, there's a subset of MCAS that comes with Azure ADP 1 and also there's a subset that comes with Office 365 E5 that you have to break down. So again, really complex when you start to narrow this down. Uh, but Microsoft does document the differences there on the high level. What I would say is that it just basically does the discovery pieces and it doesn't cover AIP or conditional access. So that's the way you could think of these things. I put in some potential bundles though, more geared towards SMB because of the fact that, you know, we can't charge $57 a user. So when we're looking at this offering, I have a couple of bundles here that would work to get you Azure Information Protection, Conditional Access, and the App Discovery with all of these. And then if you wanted to, you know, there's some extensions with that, with the integrations that I covered in my first video of the demo. So this is integrating with Defender ATP. This is integrating with your on-prem active directory. This is integrating with Microsoft Intune, all of these things that can do that aren't requirements, but it all depends on how robust you want this offering to be or the pain points or, or problems that you're trying to solve in a particular customer organization. So I like, I like this one because it includes everything. I like these more because it obviously is encompassing of a standard base plan with an email uh, or exchange mailbox, I should say. 
and also you know your basic subset of your office suite like a OneDrive account and access to SharePoint and all these things. So the main difference between these two is that this one, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, comes with Intune, so you get MDM. So it's all again really what the customer really needs in this case, you know. So you can you can apply that and give them the full solution. It comes with AIP in this case, and it comes with P1 as far as Azure AD, so you get conditional access policies. With this one, this is more of the what I would consider the high volume of what is purchased today in the SMB market. So this business standard, the 1250 a user. So again, a base level offering. I like the Microsoft 365 E5 security package because it includes a bunch of services for the money. So it includes AIP, which is typically $2 a user, it includes Azure ADP1, which is typically $6 a user, uh, Defender ATP, which is $5.20 a user, Azure ATP, which I believe is $2 as well. I'd have to look that up again. Um, and then Office 365, ATP, which is $2 a user. So quite a bit of offerings all bundled together. This gives you safe links, safe attachments. This allows you to integrate with your on-prem directory. This allows you for you know your EDR solution and also continuous monitoring of the environment for new applications, blocking unsanctioned apps, blocking uh, unsanctioned OAuth applications, things like that. Azure ADP one for conditional access and then labeling of files uh, across your environment to be able to auto classify them as well too. So when we think about this offering and trying to sell it to our customers, the biggest piece of advice I would give is that there is a free trial. So what I would do is I would get a free trial, it's up to 25 licenses, and you can run the scan of their environment. Either you upload your network logs from a firewall or you connect the service and do more granular things. So I would just upload a network firewall log so I can run through and see an assessment of all the discovered cloud applications. So after you upload this network log of the activity, you'll be able to get this assessment here on all the applications discovered, IP addresses, users, and traffic as well. And so you'll be able to determine if there's high risk apps being used in the environment and you'll be able to see this comprehensive report on everything that the users are interacting with on the network itself. You can also then bring this down to view apps that are at a higher risk score and you can see if they're meeting certain compliance requirements or security requirements as well. So you can see applications that don't meet HIPAA standards for instance. You can see applications that are considered very risky because of their security profile. And this allows you to at least bring the customer some pretty concrete information on their environment in which they probably don't know, as in all the shadow IT that's going on, the risky applications that they're using in their environment, applications that aren't meeting compliance standards like HIPAA and FINRA. And that gives them some concrete information to try to win the deal as far as getting this into a paid subscription and moving forward with the licensing. You can also generate a cloud discovery executive report after that's done too for some comprehensive PDFs on just recommended actions, what was discovered in the account, things of that nature. So I'll show you that now as well too. So this is the report right here. Switch that out in just two minutes and you have a consolidated view of what's going on in the account and you have alerts that can be derived from there and you have these additional key key findings. So, and this was key things that you can just represent, right? Like 10% of your total traffic is created by risky applications. So these are key things that I would do before purchasing the service, before bringing it into a proposal, just running the scan from the network logs, which you're already managing, and then going in and providing them with this assessment to try to win over the deal. The last thing I'll note here, I'll link below these um, comparison guides, right? So you can see the actual feature comparisons that I'm referencing here between Cloud App Security and 365, and also with Azure AD and the full offering here. So again, it's extremely complex. Um, you'll have to take some time to get used to it, but I hope I provided you guys with a good high value overview of, of what the offering looks like from pricing and licensing. If you do have any questions though, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, thanks again for your time and have a great day.